middle class four room flats with uh, parents and with kids. So some of these anxieties are quite real. And of course, in COVID-19, jobs, jobs, jobs. We have said it as labor chief for a few months really. And coming down to the ground, well, it's no different from what I experienced before the election process kicked in now, all the work that we've been trying to do. So at the national level, uh, coordinating with government and also being a cabinet minister, actually answering this very grave challenge that we have uh, is at least at a few levels. Uh, on the company side, where we could help the companies, we have done our very best to give the feedback to government on the real challenges at the very early stages and then very happy that uh, government came up with the JSS. This actually is a very important part of actually keeping jobs. Otherwise, the retrenchment rates I don't think will be at 3.3% or so now. It would have uh, resulted in a lot of more workers being displaced. So this part of work, um, I think people are very thankful for it, but it's uh, more indirect to workers. And the other one that we have been doing is actually matching workers really at risk. You know, in the industries like aviation, hotel, uh, tourism, uh, tourism, sorry. So before they are actually displaced or retrenched, we are very thankful that we have the Job Security Council that was designed by uh, NTUC when we were looking at actually helping PMETs, 40 to 60s, how to cope with the, the challenges of the new economy. So we managed to pivot the JSC and use it for job matching on the larger scale. As I announced in Parliament, it was actually supposed to be a six-month pilot thing and see how to refine it, but we, had, we didn't have the luxury of time. It, Covid came suddenly and we actually went into double quick time, get as many companies as possible on board, get the government on board and started doing all this work. So very happy that it has uh, uh, evolved to the National Level Job Council. So NTUC will plug in to play our role too. And even though we are of course very seized with the uh, COVID-19 challenges, uh, as Labour Chief, I also cast my vision in further. Because at some point in time, we will get out of COVID-19. And the longer the work prospects of uh, my workers are very important to me. So we take care of them now, actually getting them into better jobs of the future is even more important in my view. Because the economy will continue to be quite relentless in terms of uh, adapting to the new environment. Civilization, uh, I think, will go at double speed at least. So getting our workers, especially the middle age workers and senior workers, to be on this trajectory, well, the learning journey, the training will be so much more pertinent and important. So some of the things we have said in the DAP live chat about adopting a new mindset, adapting to a new situation uh, and beyond and then importantly acquire, taking action to acquire new skills equally important so this is at the national level the things that we've been doing it, uh, makes a difference to all the residents here at the local level and of course I hope it will give assurance like, to residents that uh, NTUC, the PAP is alongside to support and care as best as we can for them so generally, when I walk around in the last uh, week or two weeks already in Hong, in uh, Sengkang, uh, residents are appreciative of these efforts. There are, of course, areas that we want to do more and better. This will, will develop along the way and see how to tailor plans as the uh, situation evolves. Uh, we don't have all the answers. You know, this is really once in, what, 100 years? Spanish flu. So, well, we remain adaptable even in government and uh, we we'll keep on getting the different uh, feedback and needs uh, and move forward. Yeah. What are some of the new issues or feedback that will pick up during your house visit in yeah. the past year? On jobs? Well, on the jobs, uh, not that many new new or have significant income loss. Sirs, there was some feedback. Uh, uh, many are very thankful 
including you know when we walk around the delivery room, delivery room, riders, all those that may have uh, been displaced and gone into this part-time job, they're very, very happy and grateful that they have served the nine thousand dollars to actually help them transit while they try to make a living. For delivery room, actually, they are telling me that they, when they work hard, ten to twelve hours, not easy, but they can make a decent living in this transition. Some, uh, for one reason or another, whether documentation, income tax or other uh, reasons, the process is taking a bit longer. So for those, we will try our very best not to extend assistance uh, to this affected group. So till now, we have uh, uh, a very significant number of Singaporeans helped in this way, you know, 150,000 or so that has been extended service assistance. So it's, uh, it's something that uh, when we design our policies, we do our very best to implement so that rest, uh, citizens can help us. Uh, so on a local level in Sengkang, how do you plan to take these national support schemes into the neighbourhood? Oh, uh, well, two levels. So like the jobs centre, we uh, were very fast to tell the government we want it in Sengkang because our demographic profile, we know that people are hit even before uh, anything that uh, the election process happened, you know, we were aiming for it already because we see that. So a job centre here, running job fairs, bringing it to the people. Even if we do not directly help you, at least we give the psychological assurance that somebody is alongside. It's very important. And when something actually happens, well, uh, whether it's this uh, centre here or our E2I WSG, we have the networks to actually match and uh, refer our residents to that level. So, top line concern, we are not just talking about uh, solutions, uh, not just engaging in uh, debates, of those are very important, but where the policies have been designed, uh, my team and I, we have the experience, we have the networks, and uh, I think we can serve our residents very well to be alongside to assure them that we will do our very best to help them access government grants, reliefs, and if you are business owners, or if some of my residents are, also help with uh, uh, re-pivoting of business model, um, getting MTI perhaps or other uh, agencies for support grants where they need to pivot, where they want to go into, let's say, a different platform. Uh, MTI is ready to work with NTUC to grant up to 90% of capitalization costs, so the EDG, Enterprise Development Grant, all these are useful things, like practical things to help small business owners around here too. Yeah. So I do have to ask, um, facing off against Workers' Party in Sengkang, how confident are you of the PAP's chances of going to the fight? Well, let me put it simply. You look at my team, I think we have the uh, experience in government and in uh, in politics in government in our past careers of uh, actually running big organizations and having delivered uh, different programs for the people to look at our track records uh, I have I'm now 52, no longer young, but not that old yet. The track record of actually uh, able to make good on the things that we say we'll do. Um, we look at how we are planning for the town. Well, all these are concrete things that we have put on the table and that we want to implement. So between not just articulation, but also following through. Look at Raymond, the newest political candidate in my team. Well, he, he may be the newest political candidate, but he has 20 plus years in the, in the grassroots in town council management. So we are quite uh, clear that he is a good candidate to help us set up the new town council to meet the real needs of people. So yeah, look at it. What would I say to the voters? here in Sengkang, well, evaluate us on uh, our ability to do planning for the whole town, 
whether it's in the areas of jobs, town redevelopment, town maintenance. We look at the town council, we have put up a plan. We look at the Sengkang movement together. All these are useful things for all of us to actually co-create. Look at our track record. I think uh, it, it, it speaks for themselves. So yeah, I'll, I'll just put it simply that way. In three, 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 three key things. We have the plans, we have the experience, we have the track record. And uh, I would uh, respectfully and humbly ask for the voters' confidence to vote for us so that we can represent them in Parliament. Right? Okay? Thank you. 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 我們有沒有共創正港的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經驗的經